name is Ross Wilson. I'm a veterinarian and I work for Plasvac. Equiplas, foal's best start. The most important thing about the use of any veterinary product is that you read the label before you administer. All the instructions for thawing, doses to use, possible reactions you can get are contained on both the box label and the bag label. Also importantly, there are contact numbers if you need tech support. Ring Plasvac and uh, that tech support will be rendered as quickly as possible. Finally, you'll see that at the bottom of the, of the pack, there's a batch number and expiry date. And also you'll see that the product is APVMA approved. That is a registered veterinary product with the veterinary regulators in Canberra, the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority. In the USA, the veterinary regulator is the United States Department of Agriculture, otherwise known as the USDA. This body oversees the licensing of veterinary products in, in this country and is responsible for the release of every cereal of plasma produced at Plasvac USA. That means that this product is made with the sort of quality assurance that will make it as safe as possible for your horses and your foals. The plasma is thawed. I'm going to take it out of the water bath and I'm going to wipe it dry. We then remove the tape that was holding the transfusion ports down. You can see the plasma is nice and clear and fully thawed and it feels at body temperature, which is very important. You don't want to transfuse cold plasma. These are the two tra sterile transfusion ports. We'll use one of those to spike the giving set so that we can do the transfusion. Now I'll just take you over to the table. So what we need first is a giving set. We use the Sangafix ES giving set. It's got to have a, it's got to be technically a blood giving set. This means that it has a, it has a filter, 200 microns, um, 200 micron pore size in it, because any plasma that's been frozen and thawed again is going to have microparticles, at least microparticles, they might even be visible particles of fibrin in it, and you need to filter them out with this filter. It's very important. Thawed frozen plasma must never be transfused without a giving set that contains a filter. So what we do now is we open, we turn the giving set off first because when it comes out of the pack it is uh, open. We turn it off, we expose one of these um, transfusion ports like that without touching it, just hold the flap open. We take the cover off the, trans off the giving set spike and we push this in, twisting it at the same time. It's very important to twist as you push it in so that you don't penetrate the side wall of the bag with the spike. If you use a twisting action, you won't do that. The second thing we do is we hang the bag of plasma on a conveniently located hook and then we prime the drip chamber. We want that drip chamber about half full. If we try to run the plasma in there uh, with that drip chamber only partially filled like it is, it, the plasma will froth and it will be hard to tell if it's running. So I just squeeze that gently until it's about half full. That's perfect. Now I'm going to take the cap off the giving set and I'm going to run some plasma through until the line is full of plasma. Being careful that there's no air bubbles in it. There we go. The line is now full. I'm going to put the cap back on and I'm going to hang the giving set like that. I'll just show you the other equipment we need to use. We'll need a, an intravenous catheter. I use a 14 gauge 2 inch catheter. That's a fairly big catheter. I know vets that use 16 gauge or 18 gauge or 20 gauge. Doesn't matter. Your transfusion time you're aiming for is about 20 minutes. You can give it quicker, but uh, I find that it will uh, have the best effect on the foal if it's given 
reasonably slowly. If you give it in a huge bolus, you might cause other problems. Additionally, I have some gauze swabs. I have an elastic adhesive bandage. And I have some antibetadine antiseptic to um, clean the neck after I clip it with these cordless clippers. It's very important to clean the, uh, the venipuncture site as well as possible because we don't want to introduce any bacteria into the foal's bloodstream.